everyone. Welcome back to the fabrication shop. As we continue on with our Olympus build, today we're going to be talking about the payload bay and the recovery system. As you can see, we've got our nose cone and payload adapter. We've got the payload bay itself. We have the parachute, a couple snap swivels, and we also have a hobby saw that we'll be using to cut the payload adapter from the nose cone. And with that, let's get started. So in our kit, we have the nose cone and the payload adapter. And you'll notice that between the two, there's this groove that's molded in all the way around. This is actually the separation point between the two. So we need to go ahead and separate the nose cone from the payload adapter. You can use a hobby knife. I prefer to use the hobby saw. It seems like I get a better cut, a smoother cut, and it goes a lot quicker. So with that, we'll go ahead and get started cutting these in half. You will notice as we cut the two pieces in half, we're constantly rotating the assembly. This allows us to get a nice straight cut. It also gives us, gets us a even cut. So you can see we've got our two pieces now and they came out really nice. And what we'll do is we'll take a little piece of sandpaper and we'll clean these edges up. Okay, so as you can see, we've got our two pieces sanded smooth now. They look really nice, nice smooth edges all the way around. Okay, we look really good here. There's one more thing we need to do and that's to the payload adapter part. On our payload adapter, you'll notice there's a thick piece of plastic down here. We need to remove this. Our recovery system parachute shock cord will need to attach to this piece of plastic here. So we've got to get this cut out and get it out of the way. So you can see now how this gives us an opening that we can attach our recovery system to. So here's the three pieces of our payload bay, the nose cone, the payload adapter, and the payload bay itself. In this case, it's a clear piece of plastic. And you can see these simply attach like this. So we have our parachute, the shroud lines, and our small snap swivel. What we want to do is feed these shroud lines through the snap swivel. You want to make sure that they're even and that they don't crisscross each other. Once you know where the center of the shroud lines are and you do that by holding the point of the parachute and stretching everything out. Hold that. Now we can pinch it and we'll pinch our shroud lines and get them threaded through the opening on the snap swivel. Once we do that, we're going to take our snap swivel, bring it back through the opening, and snug everything down.
and then we'll apply a little bit of glue here. We'll put a little bit of yellow glue on it and that will secure that knot in place. And that's all there is to attaching your parachute to the snap swivel. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to attach another snap swivel to our shock cord. Same kind of procedure. We're gonna to have to make the shock cord mount kind of fold it in half, get it through the opening in the snap swivel. And then we're simply going to tie it in a knot. Okay. We'll put a little bit of glue on this again, just to kind of lock it in place. Once it dries, we will cut off the excess shock cord. So the last part of this is to attach the parachute and the shock cord both to the payload adapter. And to do that, we'll simply take each snap swivel, insert it through the loop, and lock it down. Put it in. And lock it down and now both parts are attached that finishes this episode up on the recovery system and the payload bay when we get to our next episode we'll look at the completed construction of the Olympus so until next time take care